Hey, Iowa Wild fans. When I think about Tom Kerr versus the man they call TK, not only do I think about his achievements on the ice, but also just how much he loved the game and wanted to grow the sport of hockey. A quick anecdote I'll share, and I've, I've told this story before, is that TK would often tell me that anytime a championship was at stake or there was a game seven in any sport, he would call it a double ice cream day, and he would take his kids out for two scoops. He'd tell me to do the same thing with my boys. So I encourage you, if there's a championship on the line, if it's a game seven anywhere, uh, if you're gonna watch it on TV or take the game in yourself in person, take your kids out, take your grandkids out, take the neighbor's kids out for two scoops of ice cream, a double ice cream day is what TK would call it. And I think about that all the time. TK was always the nicest person to uh, talk to. He was always so approachable. And you knew that you had any, if you had any concerns, um, it would not be met with any animosity. He'd be listening, caring, and you always knew that you could get through to him. And um, the one thing that I really remember about him is my end of the season meeting uh, four years ago. Um, the one thing that he told me, and I didn't know if I'd come back here to play again, was uh, just to make sure I keep playing as long as I can. And um, I think that's something that really resonated with me. And there's times where there's hard days and bad days, and you think maybe the end is sooner than uh, you thought and you think about TK and you remember what his message was to you to just keep playing as long as you can. So TK, he was he was a big reason why I got my chance here with the Iowa Wild and uh, just a great human. Um, he, he's done a lot for this organization and uh, we're all wearing the TK sticker on our helmets playing for him this year, making dedicating this season to him. Great, uh, great person, great family man and uh, it's, uh, it was tough this past summer. Uh, I, I first met Tom at uh, a World Junior Festival in the summer of 1981 um, out in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Uh, it was the first time I had met him. And then uh, the next year at the National Sports Festival, it was in Indianapolis, uh, so I began to get to know him a little bit. Uh, in those days, uh, Eastern College players did not really fraternize with Western College players, but uh, he was he was a really, I just remember him being a really good guy all those years ago. And a uh, defenseman, and then uh, after uh, his senior year turned pro. So, uh, and my roommate at Providence College, uh, who is uh, the godfather of my youngest son, Travis, uh, Steve Bianchi, grew up uh, right in the same neighborhood as TK. So it was always sort of this connection with Tom all through those years. I eventually would coach Tom in Anaheim in 94-95. Tom's last year in the NHL, he would finish one more year in Japan. Uh, again, we just always seemed to connect, um, similar backgrounds, family backgrounds, similar thoughts on life, on hockey. And I would, I would see him every once in a while, particularly when he's working in Phoenix and then later in Tampa. I'd see him every couple of years and always had good conversation with him, always enjoyed catching up with him. And then he was hired by Paul uh, in, in, uh, in, in Minnesota when Paul was hired as general manager and I thought it was great for TK. And, and lo and behold, about three weeks later, uh, I was offered the job here in, in Des Moines and we worked closely together for, uh, for a few years and uh, he is a he was a wonderful human being he was a great hockey person uh, he had a great feel for the game we hit it off like I said we just we, we just connected uh, because of similar backgrounds growing up and similar thoughts about a lot of different things we just connected and we worked so well together here um, that uh, it, it was just it was seamless and it was he had a great impact on me here because of the emotions of coaching and the roller coaster that you ride emotionally as a coach, TK always had a great perspective on things. He could always sort of level everything off and it was really good for me because I do, I, I do think um, I am a very emotional person. Uh, you know exactly what I'm thinking, how I'm feeling and he was always able to keep me he always knew the right things to say to sort of just get me to think about things differently or just to take a, take a step off the gas emotionally and try to level things off. So he was a great, uh, we, just, we just connected so well and he was a great, uh, he was a great person for me uh, to, have, to have with us. And, and 
When he got sick, it was, uh, it was, it was terrible. He got sick. He got diagnosed in January of 2019. Uh, I had last seen him in San Antonio in the middle of December, and he had told me that he would be here for our New Year's Eve game against Chicago. And uh, he was at uh, winter meetings, and he called me and said, I'm not gonna come, I think I have pneumonia. And uh, within about a week or 10 days, he would diagnose with the lung cancer. And I wouldn't see TK again. We talked, but I wouldn't see him again until uh, the opening game of the playoffs against Milwaukee. And then he started to do really well, and he was around quite a bit uh, that season in 2019-20. Uh, he was around a lot. He was doing really, really well. And, and then um, the pandemic uh, happened. Uh, our season was canceled. Uh, I saw him in Minnesota as we got ready to go to the bubble. Uh, in Edmonton, I went with the team in, in, to the bubble in Edmonton, and uh, that's the last time I saw him. I talked to him quite a bit in the phone, but I didn't see a lot of him after that. But um, just a wonderful, wonderful guy. Uh, we just connected. We always, I used to always say to him uh, at the end of every conversation, "I love you, brother." He'd say the same thing to me. Uh, I feel that way. He'll always be with me. Uh, so for the rest of my life, uh, I'll fight for I'll fight for TK. He, he is uh, he was my brother.